Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Public Coin, and today I have a short book review for you, and I'm going to call it a short book review because I am not in the book review business, but today I want to talk to you about a book called Bad Metal by a gentleman known as Winston Zack, because that's what his parents chose to name him, and uh, this guy, he's a great guy, by the way. Um, I do know him personally, full disclosure, um, but... I still read the book. His website it will be in the show notes here, badmetalcoin.com. And this book is, I don't know if I would call it groundbreaking. That's kind of up to you. I don't want to use too much hyperbole. Um, but it is it is unlike any numismatic book I've ever read. And let me tell you why. It is a very unique combination of history and technical detail and coin collecting. And this is the first book on counterfeits I've ever seen that talks about collecting counterfeits. Even though I've always known that that's a market because I have several numismatic buddies that actually collect counterfeit paper money or or coins is something that they do and they enjoy doing. So uh, this is book one that has currently been issued out of three books. This book is on uh, copper and on nickel coins. So your your cents, your large cents, your nickel pieces. Um, there will be a book just dedicated to silver coins, and there will be a book just dedicated to gold coins. I don't know when those are going to come out. All I know is that uh, it takes a long time to write a book, especially with this much detail in it. One of the things I really enjoyed about it is that there's a lot of um, newspaper articles clipped and cut out, and I like the way that it actually blends history into uh, why something exists, right? So, so when you look at coin collecting, lots of times you can say, well, there's certain dates that are missing for certain years during the Great Depression. Well, why? Because the Great Depression was going on and they weren't making as much currency and uh, economic woes. So this goes into detail of during time periods, the economy, the politics, what was going on, and why counterfeiting uh, was more common in certain areas than others. And it is, so the history portion of it's really fascinating. Now, for those of you who are technical people, there's also a lot of technical details about how counterfeits are actually made, uh, you know, whether, whether they are struck or, or, uh, cast. And so you can learn more about the actual, the, the actual functionality of counterfeiting. What's also fascinating is there's actually an index with, types of counterfeits that are collected. He's got his own indexing number series. Um, this happens, if you get to write the book, you get to make your own indexing number series, right? So today, people who collect paper currency use what's called the Friedberg number system because the Friedbergs wrote this great book and they had a numbering system and it's been adopted over time. Well, Winston has done the same thing with this book here where he actually has a numbering system for different types of counterfeits. Um, I will say I did learn uh, quite a bit from going through the book. Uh, I love little historical um, pieces of, of data that are related to the vernacular and are related to numismatic history. And so I had no idea that the term bogus came from counterfeiters, not just making things that are fake. It, bogus came to mean fake because it was actually the name of a dude who was counterfeiting coins. And I just want to thank uh, Winston for that tidbit. I mean, there's fun stuff like that that I find really, really fascinating. So anyway, uh, right now, if you want, if you have interest in reading this book and you've got time to read this book, because when this is being recorded, everyone's got a lot of time to read some books, uh, you can go to his website and order this. Actually, he's going to go ahead and put a little discount code in there for you. If you put uh, CoinGeek in, uh, you'll, you'll find it on the webpage there. He's got a history about his book and about him and also uh, he, he has the books, of course, for sale. It's not an inexpensive book, but you know it's a sixty-nine dollar book that retails for seventy-nine. But he's going to give you another ten percent off with the code uh, CoinGeek. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, support a young numismatist who's put uh, a decade of work into making a book and learn something new. It's really quite interesting. I'm Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of your screen. Thanks so much.